Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Henda, buddy man, welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. Joining me today is the beautiful, Stop. the talented, Samke Lundu. What a one! Are you related to Matt G? No, I'm not. But Seriously? that's her. That's her. It's not her maiden surname. She got married in Tundo. Oh yeah. She used to be Likalake. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. I used to love her. She used to say, "Masichava Likalake." Yeah, yeah. She became Glovo. Then I was like, I say that every day. Do you remember the first time we met? Yes. Do you? I don't remember, eh? Uh, we went to primary school together. You kidding? <laughs> no way, Sam. Yeah. You're kidding, Fairways. Yeah, we went to Fairways. Wow. And you were that kid singing that silly song during assembly. <laughs> do you remember it? Yes, I do. Do you remember it? How could I forget that? That was so embarrassing. Yeah, that too. was you. It wasn't embarrassing. You were cool. We went to primary school together. Yeah, we were in we the same grade. No, you were, I think, if not three grades older. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I got there when you were in grade seven. Yeah. So I got there in grade four. Yeah, shit, that's yeah. crazy. I never knew that. Because from what I remember, the first time we met, I think I could be wrong. Yeah. It was at Black Orchard. Yeah, what's um, Black Orchard? It was a club in four ways. Okay. And I think you were one of the part of the dance, the reps or something, like your crumper or something. Oh, I was with them yeah. because I was at film school mm. and they wanted me to shoot like a. Almost like a reality show for them. So I was gathering content. Oh. So I wasn't dancing with the reps. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time. I mean, I, I can <laughs> dance, but like very socially. Very socially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first time I remember seeing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, she's a dancer. She's a crampa, whatever. Yo, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for the death of me, I cannot. So you went to Fairways. Uh, which high school did you go to? I know I we didn't to go to the same high school. No, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. I went to Sandringham. And you probably went to Hyde Park, eh? Yeah, I went to Hyde Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was Sandringham like? Sandringham was dope until we left. Mm. Yeah, after that, it became. I know. Yeah. Do you say that about Hyde Park? Yeah. What is it about? I don't know. It's just like maybe it's because you're not there anymore. Hence, you feel that way. (laughs) Oh, what does that mean? I didn't stir it. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to. No, the gin was all at the bottom, and I went straight for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the water. Yeah. At the bottom of the pink tonic. No, no, everyone knows we're drinking. Oh, they do? Yeah. Might as well light a joint. Don't make me feel like, like Kelly Kumar. She made me feel awkward for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll make you feel okay yeah. about drinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you're talking about Sandringham, yeah? Yeah, Sandringham. I went to Sandringham. A few of us in the industry actually went there. Uh, Faith uh, Mangope. She's a news anchor now, I think. Faith, yeah. I used to work with that. Why? Yeah, she went to Sandringham. Oh shit! Um, Trevor Noah. Trevor. Yeah. Wow. Um, hey, you got some gems in your school. Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. Hard Park, all they have is me. Yep, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> we didn't say it. <laughs> uh, you also grew up in Alex, dude. I mean, I was born there, and the thing is, I like to claim, yeah, bo, good, mm. like, yeah, mm. chirase komora, but. It's uh, a cast. You know, I was born there. I stayed there till I was around six. Yeah. We moved to, I guess, the Burbs. Uh, so it wasn't exactly a culture shock for me because I was already going to uh, multiracial schools anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And your um, friends stay in the Burbs. A hundred percent. So yeah. the, the, the big walls and the big gardens and the own bedroom and the swimming pool and the dog were just kind of what I used to read about in my storybooks at school anyway. Mm. So um, I stayed in Alex till I was around six. And then being La Payana, man, every weekend, every school holiday, because my grand still stayed there. Um, so, so you were raised by a grand? No, I wasn't. Oh. So I was, I was in Alex on weekends and school holidays, but I was with my mom mm. the rest of the time, yeah. Mm. And uh, so what shaped me was both the environments. Oh, yeah. So I got both. Best, best of both worlds. A hundred percent. So, and I think that's why I can speak so many languages mm. and... Even Zenda. I mean, I... I mean... What <laughs> mean? And <laughs> I'm not wrong, right? No, 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 no. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 And I love Venda Cuisine, so... Oh, yeah? Yeah, I love Venda Cuisine. I love... What, Mashonja? Of course, I love Amasonja, and I make them quite bomb. I should have brought you some. You're not a I didn't know you were, 
Yeah, and I'm mean, our my baba, the chili. Oh, those are the best ones. Yeah, but I don't add the tomato. I know you guys like yeah, to add the tomato. Yeah, yeah. I don't add the tomato because I don't, I don't like tomato. Yeah. It smells like soccer boots. And then th- what was like the best quarter in Alex when you were growing up? So in Alex, I seen a quarter. I seen a sly. Oh, in this busy sly? Yeah, it's called a sly vat vat. Mm. Yeah. So it's a quarter, essentially, but it's literally held together by two slices. That's not a quarter. You and guys are not, cheating. And not that wall. That's you know a that sandwich, Moose. But, I mean, it's cool, so, <laughs> you know, we can do anything we want. <laughs> And you still go back to Alex now? Like from yeah, time I still to time. do. I was there uh, on Monday, actually, to have Mkhodu. Oh. Yeah. And during the rides, you're not there? During the what? The rides. What rides? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, I go. I go there. Um, in fact, I gave a little workshop thing at... There's a community hall called Alexan Copano. Yeah. And there is a theater actor friend of mine who I played with in theater before who hosts workshops for um, young artists who or rather want to become actors or whatever. And so he calls his friends who are in the business Mm. to come talk to these guys. So So basically talking to people who want your job. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So I gave them like an hour long of what they should do to take it. (laughs) Pretty much. Where did your love for, for drama start? Did it start in primary school, high school? Um, I, d- it's, I think it's not a love for drama per se. I think I'm just generally an artist. Oh, okay. You're so, creative. yeah, I'm yeah, a creative. Yeah. I'm a storyteller. Oh, okay. So, like, it's, it's you know, we, we can try and trace it back all the way back to Maskitlana. You know Maskitlana? No, no, no. You know Maskitlana? No? I have no idea what that is. Uh, the game with the stones where you tell oh, stories. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What do you call it? I forgot, but yeah, I know yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, give me a Of course you do. <laughs> of course he fucking does. Of course he does. <laughs> I, was always the, I was always the dad, <laughs> by the way. Of course you were. I was definitely always the kid. Because I knew that, like, the parents always wanted to sleep or something. And I had the most fun because it meant, you no, know, I could run around and probably finish whatever food we've collected. And then be like, but I'm the kid. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to sleep the whole day. Nah, these, these parents sleep, man. These parents <laughs> so I think we can trace it back uh, yeah. to Maskitana or whatever but I mean I have more than one medium that's why I like to call myself just an artist yeah and yeah. so you don't like to box yourself no mm. and I know that sounds so cliche because like you know every artist would like to say that yeah. but you know I'm a writer I went to film school so I studied uh, I did a BA in dramatic arts at Afton no? yeah yeah so, um, I'm, I'm a film and television maker. Mm. I can, I'm a writer, I'm a director, and I can produce, but it's not my favorite thing because it's too much admin. Yeah. Um, Which one would you say is the hardest out of all those you mentioned? I think writing has no. to be up there. No, no, no. Which directing. One is? Directing. Trust that. For real. Trust that. I think people think it just looks easy because mm. the guy looks like he's chatting to the actors and then it looks fun because he gets to sit on his own chair. Yeah. And boss people around. So, you know, like... But when, when there's a lot yeah. of preparation that goes behind it. Literally every frame of that moving picture exactly. must be symbolic of the story. Everything from the clothing to the location to the language that the actors are speaking to the actors you've cast That's to the lot. clothes yeah. to the makeup you want to use to the sound design to the, 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 the foley to... The weather you want to shoot in, if you want to shoot on a sunny day or not, it's you decide everything and you tell everybody else what to do. Because so what that's you're the saying, thing. it makes a lot of sense because w- before I started producing music, yeah. I just listened to music and be like, yeah. oh, that's a nice song. Yeah. But now, because I'm not a producer, I listen to certain 100%. elements. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's a dope yeah. element. Yeah, you're like me when I watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't watch it like we do. No. No. I've I've been I've sh- I've been shown the truth too soon. Mm. Yeah, so now I'm like, so I so now I have this rule because we had to watch like got the third eye. <laughs> yeah, I've got the third eye. We had this rule in directing where every week we had to turn in 
three movies that we've watched, new ones that we've never watched with a report. Not just a report like you're writing for a magazine of people who want to watch it. Yeah. A real report where yeah. you talk about everything, the aesthetics, the medium, the the sound, the every single thing, even to the makeup and why you think the makeup works for mm. th- this movie. Mm. And then we had to go people watching. Mm. Like a real exercise. We mm. had to go to public places and watch people. Yeah. Um, because essentially... As storytellers, as directors, as as actors, we are most interested in what it would be like to be you, mm. the next person. Mm. So watching people makes a lot of sense if if you're a director and you're telling it from the perspective outside of the characters who are in the story. Yeah. So <clears throat> seeing what people look like when they argue or, oh. or when a kid is misbehaving in the mall yeah. or a criminal being washed into the police station mm. or mm. you know what I mean even Mamshaya. whatever all those all those <laughs> stories they they contribute because yeah. your your work doesn't end I always say that your work doesn't end as soon as they say it's a rap yeah it doesn't end yeah it just continues. put your mic there yeah people must hear you yeah they and must. then and then so which directors do you do you like are you a fan of um, yeah, I will tell you. Because um, I was watching, I don't know anything about directing. Okay. But I was watching When They Say Us. That's the last. Um, oh, yeah, guy. Um, is it Ava, Ava Duvernay? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was really shot well. I still haven't seen it. I okay. like to watch things after the hype has died okay. down. Gotcha. That's an excuse. I'm yeah. just a mother and I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite directors. I like. Um, Who's the guy who's always working with Samuel Jackson, the white guy? Tarantino. Man. Tarantino. I was he's about good. to say, he's my favorite because okay. he's stylistic about his work and you can always tell that it's him without, like, I literally just have to see one frame mm. and I know it's Tarantino. I know his camera work. I know his fetishes. Mm. He's got a fetish for feet. Is it? For body parts. You can tell that just by watching. Yeah, work. yeah. Wow. If, if you go back to every single Tarantino movie, you will find a full frontal shot of someone's feet <laughs> for like a good 30 seconds. Yeah. Body parts, vaginas and dicks. <laughs> he loves that shit. Yeah. Titties. Yeah. yeah. And then blood. Yeah. But like he's crazy about blood. He sprays it on the walls. Like, he I'm sort of embraces cu- it. It's like I'm cutting your neck, but the blood went... Pfft. Mm. Onto that wall. So the blood becomes like an art. Yeah, to him, it's it's a stylistic thing, and I think it's it doesn't always have to be symbolic to the story or anything deep like that. I think sometimes it can just be artistic license. Mm. Yeah, Who and else? I love him because he's really uh, experimental in that way. Who else? Who else do you fuck with? I fuck with M Night Shyamalan. Don't know who that is. He made um, the Sixth Sense. Remember that one? Yes. I it, yes. That one. That was a mind fuck, yeah, dude. Yeah, I know. And then he made um, The Last Airbender. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he just made something now recently, but it's a, is it a Disney film that he's making, which is pretty cool. I can't watch, can't wait to watch it because that means he's gonna, because he's already so fucking imaginative um, that... It's a mind fuck. Mm. His film is such a mind fuck that it takes watching it twice. You're like, mm. oh, sh- oh shit, this nigga's dead. Sounds like Black Mirror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I fucks with M. Night Shyamalan. Um, I like Scorsese. Oh, yeah, he's also yeah, good. Yeah, I love, love Scorsese. Too. We like the same kind of shit. Yeah, eh? we do. We do. Can I tell like... we went to the same primary school. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he knew. <laughs> yeah, I like. I like. Um, Stories about people looking inward. Oh, yeah. More than looking outward. What was it? Did you watch Game of Thrones with your fan? Please don't start. Nah. I'm sure it, with you it cuts even deeper. Yes, in I watched the first season and then I fell off. I was just like, this is a lot. Mm. For me, it was just like, this is a lot. Why bang zanga if film? They stretched it too much. Oh, they stretched it. It's like if we took. I don't know. Do you watch South African content? Do you watch? Yeah, yeah. A you better say yes. You yeah, better. You yeah, better say yes. Yeah. Like a big yeah. capital Rhythm yes. Rhythm City, yes, yes. That's my shit. Yeah, you <laughs> I sit in front but of it with my Vaseline. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vendor. I'm a vendor, guys. Uh, just waiting for you. <laughs> Fuck. And now you can pause. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh, oh my God. I cannot. Can we get some shots? I'm kidding. Um, lockdown. Have you seen lockdown? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like it. if they took lockdown and they made it a soapy. Mm. So that's basically how I feel about... Lockdown's Game amazing. of Thrones, exactly. But Have you imagine, been on lockdown? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm exclusive to a channel, so okay, okay. Yeah, I can't. Uh, wait, I wait, when you studied at bugs. AFTA, did you study with anyone famous at the time? Um, when I got there, Beguno Neon Neon Tlatling. Okay. He played Scalo on Zone 14. Okay. Pretty boy, remember him? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they came out. They came out as I came in. Mm. So the year before, I had a, a gang load of famous guys who became like, and they're still k- kind of killing it in the yeah. industry. Thomas Gumete, Matli, Mohapira. Is that where you met Thomas? Actually, <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't meet at school, mm. but it was at school. Mm. I was at AFTA. And we were, so the school had this thing called Showcase. Okay. It's like a open mic night yeah. where you sign up and you do whatever you want, whether it's Javela, mm. you sing or you do a poem, whatever it is. And um, it was m- more of an actor's thing. People who are studying live performance. And I wasn't studying live performance. No, I'm burping. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. It's that damn beer. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? Uh yeah, so yeah, it was for people who study live performance. Showcase, but yeah. then my friend was like, uh, "Bitch, I put your name down." Mm. I was like, "But I'm not a, I'm not an LP. We used to call them LPs, live performers, and they w- they get marks for it. They have to do it. Mm. They have to put themselves on a stage in front of people, and they they get a mark just for doing it, mm. not about how good it was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so um, she put me down and. On that night, he was emceeing it. Mm. I don't know why he came back, because he's done with college. He's graduated already. Came back for the stock. Came back for the stock. <laughs> <laughs> stock taking. Stock tremendous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And he was yeah, emceeing. so he came back for the stock, and I turned out to be... The stock. The stock, yeah. yeah. But we met, and... Um, so I was singing, so I'm a singer. Yeah. So I was singing that day and that night and he was emceeing and he came out and he introduced me. In fact, he saw me backstage and I think we had like a, a very cheeky exchange. Okay. Because um, I was like, who the fuck is this short ass nigga? Yeah. Are you um, feeling him at that time? Like, he was, no, I was just like, get he's it. in my space. I was mm. just like, I'm trying to get dressed. Mm. And the thing is like, I come from a theater background. Like mm. there's no time for dressing rooms. Your cue is uh, your cue is now. As soon as the actor on stage goes, mm-hmm. that's your cue to walk on. So I was half naked and I put my dress back on. And I, he was in my space. We had a cheeky exchange. He introduced us. And after we sang, he came out to like a standing ovation. And he said to the people, he was like, yo, like y'all better clap again. And they clapped. And from there, he was like, goo goo gaga. Mm, he was in awe. Yeah. And then I was like, mm. "Who's this short guy?" <laughs> Who's this short guy? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and he was pretty. He was shorter than you, didn't he? He's still shorter. Than you. <laughs> was it weird dating a short guy? N- now, because now I'm like, you kind of have to be like this tall <laughs> to ride this ride. But, <laughs> but. You know, short guys have short man syndrome, so they have a lot to prove. Yeah, yeah. So I might. I might. <laughs> How long were you guys together for? Because I only noticed you guys were dating when I saw you on Forever Young. There yeah, was an episode, that was, yeah. we had broken up there. Oh, is it? Yeah, and because I had already agreed, and I was being nice. I was being a nice ex. Oh. So I did it for him. So that was all a show? Yeah. Wow. The whole Brazil thing. No, he did go to Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we saw that. He did, yeah, yeah, he did go to Brazil. Uh, but when he left, I couldn't care less because we weren't dating anymore. Mm. But I had to pretend I was bothered. What do you guys break up? It was too short. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that like my toss on the wall? <laughs> It is, hey. I love you, Matosa. You couldn't reach the expectations. I can't believe they're recasting. <laughs> I mean, they're casting for her and they didn't call me. Yeah. You know, because, like, you know, even Tembi used to say, when we perform, you can come be our label. 
I don't see you as Levu though. You see me as who? Uh, I'll get back to that one. That's a good question. Fuck, I love how she just turned it around. You good, eh? Shit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, take me back to your first feature film because um, I believe you worked with Trevor Noah, eh? Uh, was, was Trevor big at the time? Or he was still coming up, eh? He was still coming up. Um, he was still coming up. Cajiso uh, Lidija was a bit mm. bigger at the time. And how and the then, tables have turned. And I, how the tables have turned. <laughs> the wheel yeah. <laughs> goes around and around. Uh, but um, Did he ever try hit on you, Trevor? No. Mm, I'll take that as a yes. Wow. Did you say no to him? Yes, I was too young. So you said no oh, to him? Oh, and I was dating Thomas. Ah. And Thomas was like... But you could have been in Hollywood now. No, I wouldn't have. Eh? No, I wouldn't have. Wow, you said no to Trevor Noah. But he, was, uh, he wasn't Trevor yet. Please, <laughs> please don't. Please don't. This is... Oh, my God. It's going to end up on blogs. <laughs> Fuck. It's going to end up on blogs. I just know it. <laughs> Those guys take anything. They'll write anything. <laughs> even about like, oh, there's a condom in my bag. And they'd write about it. It's like, fuck. Okay, so just explain yourself what you were trying to say. So it's not misconstrued. I didn't say anything about Trevor hitting on me, first of all. I just said I worked with him. <laughs> no, we worked together. He was a sweet guy. Um, he, he's not an actor. And I was like, raw, 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 out of yeah. college. Um, you know, this is your livelihood. Like it was my is, livelihood because, yeah. like, after you're touching a camera, the moment you walk in, yeah. they have no time to play. They don't have time to play with theory and whatever. There is theory, but like, even the pass rate is eighty percent. That's why the dropout rate is so hectic there because it's like I did, I got seventy four, so I failed, mm. and my parents paid eighty grand for me to be here. Mm. So um, it's hectic. Yeah. So I had just come out of college, fresh, 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 like. All the information was still in my brain. I was really excited about being on set. I felt blessed and highly favored. It was like, you know, my life was taking yeah. off. Yeah. And he was just a sweet guy who wanted to get this film made. And was always cracking jokes. And we kind of lived in the same... I was still living Complex. at home at the time. Oh. No. Mm. Same <laughs> area code. Yeah. Yeah. So he stayed in uh, like Bramley Lindhurst oh. and I stayed in Lombardi West. Oh. So sometimes he would like pick me up so we could go to set together so that the driver wouldn't have to. Yeah. So he was a sweetheart. Mm. But my boyfriend hated it at the time. Yeah. When he found out, he was like, you, what? He picked you up? Yeah. I was like, but we're working on the same set. He's like, I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um. No, Trevor was a sweetheart. Um, Kahiso as well, I'm guessing. Kahiso was a sweet. Kahiso, eh? Kahiso, who is Tanya? So, ish. Naming is Tanya. So, there always has to be one who who goes. Eh. Because then, otherwise, it's like we're never gonna work. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but you know, I'm one of those people who kind of understand duality. So, yeah. Um, so now when, when, so you, d- you do the feature film or whatever, cool. Yeah. Now your career started to take shape. When do you like blow up? Is it Zone 14? On Zone 14, it's a significant amount of people who recognize me. Uh, publications are interested in my story. It's fine. But Generations Gen- is the- what made it go boom. boom. Yeah. yeah. And my character on Generations lasted in people's minds for years longer. Mm. Even after I played other characters after that. I mm. think I played like... Five or six characters. That's how big Generations is. Generations is huge. Yeah. Generations is huge. That was my breakout role. Um, and Soul City, Intersections. Soul City was huge. I got nominated for a SAFTA for that. Yeah, I played you know. with Lelete Kumalo, which was always a dream for me. Wow. Because Sarafina. Mm. It was one of the first things that made me go, I have this thing. Yeah. What yeah. am I supposed to do with it? Yeah. And then when I saw Sarafina, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Because... My whole life, mm. and they blonde white girls. So yeah. I was like, that's a bit too far for me to reach. Mm. So um, seeing Lele to Kumalo there kind of made it okay for me to be me. Yeah. 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 So it was... But you don't look like, like you lack confidence of being you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> uh, and now you're playing Lerato on Rhythm City. 
Yeah, I've been playing Lerato. Lerato is the longest character that I've played. I've played her for the longest. Yeah. Um, I've what been playing her for five years. Ish, these blogs. I sh- I, I'm just <laughs> Why are you say- thinking of blogs? Yay, dude. they <laughs> fast. These ones, they fast. By tomorrow morning, Fuck your, sh- them. your show will be giving them content. Fuck yeah. them. So what? Okay, you know what? It's I left truth, Generations because um, I was still a purist at that time. Mm. And so I was like, I'm not a soap star. I did it. I did this. Oh. And I did it. And I need to move on to my next role. So I moved on to my next role. And I was still young at that time. I didn't have, like, I had responsibilities. Like, all I had to pay for was my car and my house and my living expenses. So I didn't have, like, a child or something. Mm. So for me, it was like, I can... Bounce I, back. I can bounce back, yeah. like, you know. So, Do you uh, regret it? No. Mm. Would I go back? Mm. No. Mm. Yeah. I kind of feel what you're saying because I struggle with that, with that a lot because I'm a purist in my medium, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know, like, everything is always changing around you and you have to adapt. Yeah. But because you're such a purist, you're like, ah, do I really want to yeah, do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, but you see, <clears throat> and we had a conversation about this with some older actors yeah. where we were talking about this whole thing, you could see things are changing and purists are, are often the ones who don't want to go with the the ebb of the flow yeah. of, yeah. you know, the current that's yeah. changing. Yeah. Climate. Uh, mm. Yeah. And unfortunately for us, if we want our industry to be, you know, a recognizable commodity or... Grow. Uh, to, if we wanted it to grow, we have to do the things that help it to grow because what's growth It's change. Mm. So we have to do those things. So if we notice a certain trend, if we go, Oh, these motherfuckers are booking people because of how many pe- followers they have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me get the followers. Let me get the followers. Yeah. Not, Oh, back back in my ca- time. I was, but, but, they're not even actors or whatever, whatever. That's, you're just being a crybaby in yeah. my eyes. It's like, adapt or die. Exactly. So. It really is. Yeah, get the followers and just sh- shut up and do the work. Mm. What's your take on method acting? I, I have the utmost respect for people that can do that. So do I. But I think with method acting, method acting to explain it to our viewers, for those of them who don't know. <laughs> our viewers. Hey, Chase. <laughs> should you. be an ambassador for this Thank thing. You. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> um, method acting is when you take your character home with you and by that I mean so you get to sit as Sam Kelo to go play Lerato you don't have your makeup on you come in Sam Kelo's clothes and you get to sit you take Sam Kelo's clothes off and you put on Lerato's clothes you put on Lerato's face in the makeup room. And as soon as you're on set, everybody's calling you Lerato. Mm. Nobody's going to be like, Sam Gelo on set. They're going to say Lerato on set because that's who they're calling. Get into character. Do your shit. They call cut. You go take Lerato's clothes off and you go home as Sam Gelo. Mm. Now, method acting is when you don't take Lerato off. Mm. You go home with her. Mm. And that is a constant and consistent state of submerging. And that's dangerous Hmm. because you can either get stuck in limbo Hmm. and don't remember who the fuck you are. Son, please tell them to turn down the music. I got to hear this, man. Yeah. Or um, if that's not the case, you could face a few psychological defects. Wow. And so that's why with people who method act, um, the director will never suggest it mm. because it's dangerous. Mm. I mean, Heath Ledger died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, the, it's often the actors who go, yo, oh, this character is so heavy and I'm carrying it here. I can feel myself fighting it off every wow. day. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to method act this shit. So they, ha- they give you resources in Hollywood. They give you a psychiatrist, a psychologist, because you know the difference. Mm. One's clinical, <clears throat> one's not. So they give you both, and they give you totems of sorts. A thing that can help you s- 
snap back to yourself. Hmm. So a totem for you would be the sound of your mother's voice hmm. or how she says your name. Because only she says your name the way yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if she calls you and she says your name the way she does, you're kind of going to snap out of it. So does it get that deep? It gets deep. Like, people commit suicide all the time. Robin Williams co- committed suicide. Sam, Sam. Christian Bale's another one who's very deep Christian in Christian Bale's going to die. Oh. <laughs> I mean. Uh, hey guys. Please edit that up. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're. Christian Bale is the bomb, um, and he just needs to. I guess he's doing it right because, like I said, there's processes and there's resources that they afford you to be able to. Do we have method actors in the in the country? I don't think so, but I think we have people who are playing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> So and taking themselves home. They don't know the difference. <laughs> they don't know that they must take the character off. Agazu Lolo. Agazi. Oh, fuck, you kill me, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, would you ever do method acting? I would definitely try it. Mm. If somebody said play Brenda Fassi, I'd fucking do it. Yeah. I'd do it. I'd do it, but I'd need the resources. Mm. I'd need the the, 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 the the people who are taking care of my brain and the p- people who are taking care of my heart. Yeah. So I'd need to know that should I need to hear my daughter's voice yeah. or my mother's voice yeah. or Ooh. my nephew going, Auntie Samu? Yeah. Then, then it'll kind of... Yeah. So I'd need to have them within arm's reach. Uh, do you remember your first sex scene? Have you ever had a sex scene? I've never had a sex scene. I've had many, 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 kissing many kissing scenes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yini. Oh, um. Who's the best? And that thing goes to that as well. Go to don't take your character home. Don't take your co-star home too. <laughs> I like that. In your mind and <laughs> in your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the who's the one guy that you'll never forget he's kissing on set? Like the best one. Really? Mm. Do you even have one? I don't think so. I'm just like... Let's go... I'm their favorites. Let's go process of elimination. Who have you kissed? Your favorite me, Nagubo Boinke. So... (laughs) Who have you kissed? I don't know who have you kissed. Who have I kissed? Okay, on Generations, I kissed my friend, Jafta. He's my friend, so it was weird for us. It was very weird. No, no, no. No, Jafta was Jafta was I on Jafta. Soul City. Yes, he I was remember on everything. Jafta. Jafta's a child star. Yeah, yeah I remember Jafta's Jafta. a child star. Yeah. Um, I kissed Jafta on Generations. I kissed Spello on Zone 14. On Soul City, I kissed Melusi. He's on Isibaya now. He okay. plays Bafo. Okay. Um, uh, and who was your favorite out of, out of those ones? I don't have one. Mm. Lungile Khatu? I didn't kiss him. Mm. Thomas. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> you didn't want him. Thomas. Kiss. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Mlambo. <laughs> sure, did you see that video of his? Yeah, I did. can't look at him the same. Do you think he's packing though? I don't know. And I plead the fifth. <laughs> but. Oksalayo. I don't have questions. I don't have Mega cool man, Oban, before, <laughs> who was in his dressing room before, before they went on air, what was going on? We deserve these answers. <laughs> All right, let's talk about how did you feel when, as a woman, when the Harvey Weinstein thing came out? Um, mm, I felt like it's about time, finally, fuck, mm. because... Um, the oppression of the woman comes from the sexual oppression of the woman comes yeah. from the microaggressions, the very microaggressions to the, you know, <clears throat> the actual aggressive, you know. Are we talking penis sizes? Oppress- here <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's show. <laughs> hey, India. <laughs> Yo, and easy. <laughs> and easy. Um, sorry, what were we talking about? As soon as you said penis. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? 
<laughs> so I'm kidding. This is not an interview. Eh? <laughs> uh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, how did I feel? Yeah, yeah. I felt like it's about time because, like I said, it's the, it's from like the macro, the microaggressions to the actual like op- like visibly oppressive things, and it happens all the time. Has like, it happened to you? I mean, I don't want to get into it, uh, but it's a, it's an occurrence. So it has happened to you. Yes, in these, like I said, it's it's micro from from the guy you have a kissing scene with, yeah. who says something inappropriate between takes. Mm. Um, a guy can be like, Ish. yeah, mm. ne? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Hey, don't look at me like and that. And I'm like, fuck, I'm trying to remember my lines. We're going to have another Thomas Mulumba. Stop <laughs> it! And we might. <laughs> Yo, so you record at me. Yeah. Um, so it's like, Ish. And you need just to do your fucking job. I'm like, fuck. We're between takes. We're waiting for them to call it again. This is the second take or the third take. And I must still walk out and kiss this nigga who's busy telling me, Ish. Mm. So that's a microaggression mm. in my opinion. Mm. Or I'm walking onto set in clothes that I didn't choose for myself. Wardrobe mm. chose it. And then he goes, Yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's like, Motherfucker, you wearing clothes that were chosen for you too. Do mm. I sit here talking about your bulge? Mm. You know, so it's it's fr- it's from those even small things to the very visible ones where someone's going, I won't give you this job until I fuck you. Yeah. So, like I said, um, it's one of those things. It's an occurrence. It's happening everywhere all the time. So I cannot is- isolate it and say it has or has not yeah. happened to me. Yeah. Um, it's an occurrence. Yeah. Hmm. That's crazy, man. Niggas ain't shit. Yeah. Are there clicks in your industry, in the TV industry? And the TV industry, um, no, it's not clicky. Uh, it's not really clicky. Nah. It's everyone for himself. Yeah, yeah it really is. Because uh, <laughs> as long, I'm at clicks. <laughs> <laughs> and then are you in, uh, are you in like celebrity WhatsApp groups? Or is there no, one that you're in? I, w- I, was, I was in um, a celebrity fitness group. Mm. But I left because... Who was in there? Uh, Pearl Tusi, a whole lot of DJs actually, oh. a whole lot of DJs, DJ Fresh, oh. Miss Cosmo, Poppy, uh, Milkshake, Twins on Dicks, wow. uh, Ma, uh, Major League, mm, mm. um, I under MVP. And then you left. I left. Mm. It started becoming a bit trappy. <laughs> yeah, what does that even mean? Because it was like, because we have to post. A pow, a po, a pow every week, mm. three times a week. Mm. Pow means proof of workout. So okay. that's how you stay in the group. Oh. By posting your proof of workout. So those proof of workouts were starting to be very, very trippy. Yeah. I felt trapped. Yeah. As umundonya called thirsty, but suddenly in Dingwani. Dude, tell me about the music. I had no idea you're a singer, bro. I am. Have you released any music? Um, I did a song in 2013 with DJ Kent. Um, it's called Vertigo. Um, I wrote it no, for... No, some was that you? Yeah, that was me. Wow. Aww. Fuck me sideways. All right. <laughs> you promise? <laughs> Cut the camera off. <laughs> Bring some shots while you're at it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was um, Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo was actually supposed to be on my my current body of work that I'm about to put out, but um, he asked for it, so I gave it to him. So since then, since 2013, you haven't worked on any. music? I haven't worked on any music. I've been too busy writing and acting directing. and directing and trying to be a mom. Are you going to be one of those people where? Because now we don't know your body of work, but when it comes out, you're going to be like, "Wow, she's good at this too." I hope so. Mm. I hope people are not going to be like, Yo, le- please, can she stick to acting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope. Like, that's my biggest fear. So mm. that's why I'm so pedantic about pedantic. everything. So oh, pedantic. Guess what I'm sending him? Yeah, bro. It's like after. It's like a textbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that people will love it. Uh, Who it, do you fuck with uh, music-wise? 
music wise as in vocalists is that what you mean yeah, like singers musicians yeah. um i keep discovering new artists so how good is msaki msaki is so good i enjoy her so much yeah. i enjoy her writing mm. and i also enjoy the tone of her voice mm. she's something else mm, yeah. yeah um locally i'll get back to you internationally i fuck with etta bond okay big pig with two eyes and two eyes again in the pig and the big um I fucks with Georgia Smith. I fucks with Clear Soul, not not Soul, but S O L. I love the way you say fucks, man. (laughs) It's fucking with me. (laughs) Clearly. (laughs) Um, Who else do I fucks with? (laughs) Mm. Who else do I fucks with? Hey, wait, no, you want to, you want another Thomas? <laughs> it's, it's clearly like happening on its own. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Clear Soul. I fuck with Solange, um, and then my classics have to be Erica Badu, oh. Lauren Hill, Jill Scott, um, Jill Scott, Jilly from Philly. Hey. Um, so that sounds, sounds like an Afro punk lineup. <laughs> it does. It actually does. <laughs> sounds like an Afro punk lineup on New Year's Eve. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Alicia Keys and I and uh you know Alicia, I tweeted it earlier. Aguti. I finished work so early today. I finished at like half past eight. Yeah. So I was already on my way home by half past nine because I was like, let me just beat the nine o'clock traffic. Mm. And on my way home, I. Uh, an Alicia Keys song came to me and I was like, fuck, let me get that album. And do you remember an album called Songs in A Minor? Oh, where yes. every song was in A minor. minor. yeah. And I think that it was a double disc, ne? Mm, mm. Man, did I not sing my heart out on the way home? I got, I, by the time I parked, I was like, oh, I feel like I Give just came from there. church. Give us a note there. Don't Include Fox in it. Don't do that. <laughs> if I include Fox, we're definitely taking these cameras off. <laughs> it's me and you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I'll bring all the toys. <laughs> is there anyone you w- want to uh, collaborate with uh, locally, like music wise? Yes. Um, I can see you and Java. You can. Yeah. But I don't make Afro soul. Yeah, but he doesn't. He just makes music. He does just make music. That's mm. true. Um, he makes very. Uh, he makes very introspective music. Inward. Mm. I also make inward music, but my music is just about six. Ah. So I don't know if Java can tap into that. Hey, or you can tap that ass. I don't know about that either. <laughs> yeah. Java's a friend. That's my nigga. Yeah. Put my song. We started this shit together. You got a WhatsApp group with him as well? No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else? Um, I would love to work with Gigi Lamaine. Mm. Moonchild, she's my friend. She actually made this oh, for me. Oh, Moonchild's yeah, amazing. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. She makes me clothes all the time. She's always she like, as cool as she looks. She's always like, come on. <laughs> then I'm like, what? She's like, come on. <laughs> then I'm like, okay. And then she goes from behind her back. <laughs> and there's some dress with Nandwon. Bandinjan. Nandwon. Dingu Moonchild. So, yeah. So, Moonchild. <laughs> yeah, it's very, yeah. So, I'd love to work with Moonchild. <laughs> and that guy, I keep forgetting his name. The guy that sings, Nalingi, oh, Nalingi, yeah. Mama. He was on uh, that Vuzi show, Vuzi Oh, Hasso. man, I love, I love his <laughs> vibe. Um, I, would d- I would definitely work with Java. Every day. But your man still loves you the way you are. Wow, you have to think about that? No, I'm just like, ah. What? I'm single. Are you single? Shit, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> <laughs> oh what do you mean, so good? Nothing happened. I thought you were married. Uh, oh, this ring. Uh, Isn't it cute? Yeah, it is. How did you in a happy relationship with the baby daddy? Everything's smooth. No, we're, we're co-parenting pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're co-parenting pretty well. They have a great relationship. No wonder you thirsty. <laughs> Please, can you bring me a uh, it's a double gin and tonic? Yeah, a pink tonic. Wait, what is that right <laughs> Some tequila gold. So, so it's safe to see you back in the market now. I had no idea, dude. No, I'm not. 
I'm not back in the market like that. Yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just taking things slow because I really don't have time for like men and stuff. So I gotta like get service. Come on, you see yeah. Yeah. last year of my 30s I'm having lots of fun I'm a mom I wanted to be a mom at 26 it didn't happen I had like a condition where some shit was not allowing and then I got so better the child's a blessing the child's a blessing that's why her second name is Mirosi which means angel um, in Kasa and Zulu um, so basically um, it's yeah, I just don't have the time yeah. to like get into something like also like if I'm gonna get into something serious now, it has to be something so much bigger than me and I don't mean the dick. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well in that case you can be my side chick then. <laughs> <laughs> Same doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, look at me thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, being a side chick is actually better than being a I know, I know. Yeah. I might have time for that. Nah. Yeah, but no, I, I genuinely don't have the time. And he also kind of, he's traveling a lot as well. So he's always out of the country anyway. Um, and we don't exactly have the time for each other. He's got a lot of time for his daughter, but not for us. So it's not exactly working now. We love each other, we're cool. We had time to make a baby though. We did. Yes, we did. <laughs> Yes, we did. Um, but <laughs> it's cordial, like it's. We are fine. Yeah. We are fine. We. I love him. He loves me. And we're just not in love. Yeah. Would yeah. right. yeah. you do a reality show? Though? Um, I would, but it would have to really be like the content would have to be really pointed mm. at a certain thing, like. And maybe Thomas can shoot it. Papa production. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wow, <laughs> this show, guys. But anyway, you, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. Um, thank you for um, inviting me. Yeah. And uh, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, we should do it again sometimes. Uh, sometime. I will come back once I've released my first Oh, yeah, yeah, you got, it. you got it. That's this year, so I'll keep you, well, you will going to get an exclusive, yeah? yeah you'll know yeah. that it's out. You'll get an exclusive. I'll come explain the content. Nice. And tell you what it's oh, about. Oh, I can't wait. And, like I said, my subject matter is about sex, but it's not, like, just about, like, being naughty or mm. whatever. It really just is about liberating women and allowing them to be uh, sexual beings. Are you sexually free? I would find myself to be quite sexually liberated and I, and I think it's not really about me. I think it's about women out there who aren't, who, because, you know, women are oppressed sexually and it doesn't make sense to uh, empower us intellectually and spiritually and physically and, leave, and, other not, and leave the other departments and not tell me I should come. So you don't have a problem with your, your ninja saying, let me put this thing up your bum? If he's mine. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him to do it before he does. <laughs> but like I said, that's not what the, that's not what it's about. It's not it's not about like the hanky panky. Mm. It is. Like it's it's some of it is fun, some of it is serious, some of it is, is about seeking pleasure. And I just want women to know that they're allowed to seek pleasure, they're allowed to talk about it, they're allowed to laugh about it, they're allowed to laugh at themselves, they're allowed to laugh at men, because men do it all the time, they laugh at us. Yeah. And um, I just want women to open the dialogue mm. because once the dialogue has been opened that is when Liberation can happen yeah. and we need that we need that like so many women don't know basic things About basic things. Mm. You sound like this woman that says to the side, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> No, like I said, I understand duality. Yeah. I know when to be submissive and when to be dominant. Wow, some girl, we need more women like you. Yes, bro. we do. <coughs> I'm making this music. And you make my show in Japan. And I make 
I make bum massage. I make bum massage and make it with that soft ass pop. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's the one. yes. Wow. You are like the. I think I'm talking to my future wife. You might be. Oh. Only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> we are here, peace. <laughs> Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Lynn Moleko.